Jesus said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Have you ever wondered what Thomas thought about as he looked at those outstretched hands? The Gospels don't tell us much about Jesus' elbows or toes, but hands. We hear a lot about his hands. Maybe as Thomas looked at those hands, his memory started to recall all of those stories. Perhaps Thomas remembered how Jesus used his hands to cleanse, like the time that he stretched out his hands and touched a leper, saying, Be made clean. Maybe Thomas remembered that the hands of Jesus cleanse us. Maybe it was when Peter tried to walk on water and started to sink, and immediately Jesus reached out his hands and caught him. Maybe Thomas remembered that the hands of Jesus catch us. Perhaps it, the story that came to mind as Thomas looked at the hands of Jesus was the time that Jesus laid those hands on a woman who had been held captive by a crippling illness and said, You are set free. Maybe Thomas remembered that the hands of Jesus free us. It could have been the time that Jesus laid his hands on a blind man's eyes until his sight was restored. Maybe Thomas remembered that the hands of Jesus restore us. Or maybe Thomas wasn't remembering any of these stories. Maybe he didn't think about Jesus cleansing or catching, freeing or restoring. Maybe, just maybe he was caught up in that one moment. The moment when the hands of Jesus testified that he had conquered death. Perhaps Thomas was fixed in the voice of his Messiah as Jesus proclaimed, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand. Put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe.